What are the lessons that we learned from China? Are people, you know, should people self-isolate? And actually, how quick a recovery, if everybody does what they're told, could we see? Thank you very much. Uh, well, lessons learned for ch from China uh, at this point in time are pretty clear, even though this is not the end of, uh, of the journey, unfortunately. But uh, they, they tell us that uh, well-orchestrated, well-communicated, clear uh, containment measures implemented with speed have an effect and can radically change the outcome of uh, the pandemic. Um, uh, when will we see the peak? I know it, it seems that every country in Europe and now the U.S., especially with what, the, what they've done in San Francisco, is taking different measures. Do we need a, a worldwide measure approach or because we're two weeks behind here, one week in advance here, it's very difficult to, to act all in, in a concerted action? I, I think I think you, you have to look uh, uh, nations by nation. There is there is not one uh, situation uh, at this point in time that is uh, identical to the one of your neighbour country. Uh, so I, I think I, I insist again about the speed of interventions and the clarity of the communication and the measures, and the fact that uh, containment measures have a very a very uh, clear effect. I would also. Uh, like to comment on that uh, when those measures are guided by the uh, scientific community and uh, and uh, the most notable epidemiologists i mean they are certainly having even more of an effect well when we talk about quarantine measures we're here uh, some of our audience in in new york city and it is unbelievable how quickly this city can shut down we i want to move from a quarantine to a potential treatment or a vaccine. What are you hearing from the scientific community about how far off we are from a potential vaccine? Well, it, it has been made clear that uh, uh, some vaccines, uh, in particular one of them, is getting into phase one uh, clinical trials uh, and does the uh, uh, guidance of NIH at this point in time. That's a very good news, certainly, but you need to understand that uh, phase one means that we only verify that uh, the vaccine is not toxic uh, to human. Uh, it's uh, a stage that is very early in the discovery, discovery process. Uh, you have to remain uh, to demonstrate uh, efficacy and, and most importantly also that the vaccine can be manufactured at scale, which is an issue in, uh, in the context of uh, existing filling capacities for vaccines globally. So I think I would say promising, uh, but there is still a long way. And I tend to agree with uh, clinical experts on that uh, 18 months is a reasonable uh, time frame for seeing a vaccine uh, uh, administered to patients in real life.